Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Oceana Cruises experts. And today I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful newly renovated Oceana Riviera. This ship has provided some incredible memories for myself, my wife and our family. We've enjoyed sailing and had some of the best meals of our entire life incredible service, fantastic entertainment, and of course, explored some amazing destinations. Now today, I'm gonna to tour the entire ship and go through every single public space here on board. Keep in mind, we've also filmed all the rooms and suites on board. They just renovated all of those from top to bottom. They look incredible. And of course, when you're ready to book your next Oceana, Regent, or Norwegian cruise, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Oceana, and we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now we've started off here right above the pool deck. You've got a large main pool right in the middle. I love that they have bench seating that wraps all the way around. You can put your toes in the water for a nice cool off. Today we're in the Mediterranean. After an incredible day at Rome, people are out and enjoying the space. Once again, pool in the middle. You've got two hot tubs flanking it on either side. A lovely water feature on either side of the pool as well. And on the far side, you're gonna find that pool bar. Every great pool needs a bar that has delicious drinks. And these servers are some of the best in the industry. Oceana delivers on service time and time again. You're gonna find some of the best in the business. They're happy to be here. They love providing incredible service. They're gonna keep you smiling and laughing and coming back for more time and time again. Now, everything about the Oceana experience is upgraded. In fact, Oceana really created a niche in the entire industry that didn't exist before. They've expanded their offerings with the R-Class ships, the O-Class ships, and next up, the beautiful Vista and Allura. And what you'll find is our guests love this experience and they come back to see their favorite crew members and of course, to eat the delicious food. Now you've got those overstuffed padded loungers on either side. They go underneath in the shade. You also can get some sun here on either side as well. They've got the large day beds on either side. And then up above, you're gonna find more seating. So if you want some sun, there's plenty of space. If you want some shade, there's space for that as well. Now let's head out and tour the rest of this incredible vessel. Now, all the way forward on the top of the ship, you're gonna find a sports area. So they have a pickleball court right in the middle. They've got a pretty extensive putting green here. Now keep in mind, Oceana travels all around the world and you have some incredible opportunities to visit some of the best golf courses in the world. On the far side, they also have a driving net so you can practice that. Though I always love to come up here and practice a few putts, especially in the morning. Let's see if I've got anything left in the tank here. Now keep in mind, in addition, you're gonna find some incredible views from up here. Let's see. Left a little bit of chicken on the bone there. I think I can get that. There we go. Who knew? Now up on deck 15, all the way in the aft, you're gonna find several different sports options. So right now I'm on the walking and jogging track. And on either side to complement that, they're gonna have a couple fun game options. First up is Shuffleboard. To me, it's the most classic of all cruise ship games. I think they've had it on every cruise ship ever built. Now, continuing around the aft, you're gonna find the very back of the ship. For me personally, this is always my favorite part of the ship, and there's truly some incredible room and suite options all the way in the aft. My high recommendation is you check out all the rooms and suites on our channel. You can pick the perfect one for you, and keep in mind your hard travel advisor will guide you through that process. You'll often find me up here having a nice walk before or after dinner, of course, to work off that incredible, absolutely delicious culinary experience. Now on the other side, you're gonna have a nice lawn area where you can play bocce ball and croquet. It all comes together to have some great fun in the sun. All the way at the top forward part of the ship, sitting like a crown, you'll find the Horizons Lounge. This is a beautiful observation lounge. You've got windows wrapped with 270 degrees all the way around floor to ceiling windows where you get those incredible ocean views. It's a wonderful place to relax while you're on a sea day. It's also a fantastic place to come before dinner or even after. One of my favorite things to do up here is to take advantage of the high tea. Now that's been a tradition for me since I was a really, really little guy with my grandmother. Every time we went on a cruise, having high tea is wonderful and Oceana, just like with all their culinary offerings, does it exceptionally well. 
Now you'll see the full bar behind me. Of course, they'll provide full bar service throughout every event that they have in here. They can use this as a diverse entertainment zone. You got the large dance floor right in the middle, the bandstand just behind. So they'll have different styles of music up here throughout your cruise. They'll have different events as well. It's also a great place if you're hosting a group. And once again, we do a great job with Oceana and Har Travel together, crafting amazing groups. You can utilize this space for different events. We have used it for cocktail parties and things along those lines. Now you're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around. You've got small intimate areas where you have sofas and chairs. You also have tables and chairs wrapped all the way around the middle. And then at the very front, you're gonna have some more seating where you can take advantage of those beautiful forward views. Tucked at the very front of Horizons, away from everything else, you'll find a small smoking lounge. You can see you have really nice seating here as well, in addition to the floor-to-ceiling windows. As we continue to head forward, we're heading into the Barista's Coffee Shop. Now you've got a beautiful seating area here where you can gather together, have a nice cup of joe in the morning. They'll also do some great appetizers later in the evening. You'll see here they've got a food set up. Once again, they'll mix that up throughout the day. You've got some delicious lights bites with sandwiches, charcuterie, and some lovely muffins as well. Now I absolutely love an Ely coffee at home, and I love that they offer that here as an included experience. You're gonna have that full coffee shop experience here. You've got the coffee bar that wraps all the way around the front. You've got excellent baristas, and they also have a full bar set up here as well. Now, I, for one, love to dig into a great book on vacation, and I really appreciate that they have an extensive library here on board. So much of our life is digital. There's just something wonderful about grabbing a book, whether it's an incredible nonfiction book about an area you're visiting or finding a brand new author that you've never read before. This is that spot where you can get books, but you can also sit back and relax. They've got these booth style seats here tucked into each of the nooks. You're gonna have an extensive library. In addition to that, you've got some great seating areas, small chairs, tables as well. You can grab a coffee, grab your favorite book and dig in. Now, if you're looking to connect while at sea, I stopped by the internet cafe that's attached to the coffee shop. Now, this is where you can stop by and ask all your questions about logging in, taking advantage of your complimentary internet login, maybe purchasing an expanded option as well. Now they're getting ready to add Starlink to this vessel, which I really appreciate. Having that higher speed internet around the world really does enhance connectivity, so you can check in and then check on out. Now the boardrooms where you can gather together to play your favorite card or board games. This is that spot where they're gonna have different styles of tournaments throughout your cruise, especially those longer cruises and crossings. You can really dig in with some friends. They've got a wide variety of options. You're also gonna find puzzles. I'll often stop by here to work on or complete a puzzle with friends. It's also a great place to gather together if you're taking part in a group event here on board. This beautiful space is Toscana Italian Cuisine. Now, everyone loves Italian food and Oceana does it better than just about anyone. It's a really nice large restaurant. It's one of the specialty restaurants here on board. Now, keep in mind they are included, but priority reservations are assigned based on the stateroom or suite category that you book. Your hard travel advisor will guide you through that to make sure that you pick the perfect option so you get exactly what you're looking for. Now, one of the things that you're gonna find with Oceana's menus in general is they're incredibly extensive. I think you might have to go on a full world cruise just to try every single option on the menu, but if you love Italian food, there's a delicious option for you. Starting with those appetizers and soups, moving all the way through Primi and Secondi, the entrees are out of this world, but for me, the desserts are always where it's at, and they even have a sampling of olive oil that's to absolutely die for. Now you're gonna find floor to ceiling windows that wrap all the way around. I generally request a table all the way in the aft. I love looking out at those incredible views as we sail away. Now at Har Travel, we do a lot of groups with Oceana. This is actually a space that we've used for different group gatherings. They can set up all the AV set up in the front there. Once again, check in with us and we'd be happy to guide you through the process. Now, speaking of an extensive, delicious gourmet menu, the Polo Grill is that with an unapologetic steakhouse feel. You're gonna have all of your favorite steakhouse options, and they also elevate it to the next level. For me, it's always about that delicious bone and ribeye. It's where you're gonna get the juiciest steak, but whatever it is that you like, whether it's a filet, they also have some wonderful seafood options. It really, truly is a delicious option. Once again, this is one of the specialty restaurants here on board. It's quite expansive. You can see the leather seats here, really that beautiful steakhouse decor. You have the same concept over here where you've got windows that wrap all the way around the restaurant, tables for two or four. And of course, the sommelier is gonna pair it perfectly with your favorite wines. 
Now you're gonna have an extensive wine collection here on board. You can do wine tastings. Of course, you can also get some of those drink packages. Just inquire with Har Travel and we can advise. Now something very unique to Oceana sits right between the Polo Grill and Toscana. That is Privé. So you have an exquisitely decorated space where you can order off of either menu and you can host a private party for up to 10 guests. Now it does come at an additional cost. You can work with your butler on that or the concierge team land side. Now every meal I've ever had on board the beautiful Oceana Riviera has been incredibly delicious, though one of the best meals I've ever had in my entire life was right here at this table. This is the La Reserve by Wine Spectator Spinu, and you're gonna find that you have three different menus to choose from. Two that are paired deliciously with wine. You've got the Odyssey and then an unbelievable over-the-top French menu. And you also have a Dom Perignon experience if you wanna partner it up with champagne. Now the chefs here are some of the best in the world. Once again, the gourmet food all throughout the ship is incredible, but this experience comes at a bit of an extra cost, but I promise you, you won't regret it. Now the delicious buffet style restaurant on board is the Terrace Cafe. You're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around the sides and it goes to the back and there's even an exceptional outdoor terrace where the cafe gets its name. You've got beautiful decor with the Murano glass chandeliers, the glass fixtures on the wall as well. But as you expect with Oceana, this is where they're gonna deliver extraordinary cuisine. Now you see you've got a hot area here where you go through the entrees all the way down the line. In the middle, they've got the salad bars. You'll also find fruit and my all-time favorite, that delicious gelato, ice cream, and sorbets. Now this is a venue that you'll utilize for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you'd like. Of course, you have the seated option down in the grand dining room. You'll also have incredible room service options. And if you've upgraded to one of the suites, you can take advantage of some exquisite in-room dining as well. But this is that spot, as I mentioned, where you can get that quick, casual feel. And what I really appreciate is in addition to all the made to order options here, you're gonna have a grill in the back where you can have lobster and steak every night, maybe a burger, a hot dog, those French fries. And they also have incredible desserts. I'm salivating just a little bit, thinking about an incredible creme brulee cheesecake that I had here a couple years ago. I can't wait to dig back in. I know Taylor couldn't pull me away from my favorite spot. I mentioned it already, but I'll be back here a few dozen times around the cruise, and I know you will as well. Now the terrace at the After the Terrace Cafe is my favorite spot to dine here on board. I'm sure you can see why you get the incredible views, and I always love being in the After the Ship. You've got tables for two and four out here. They'll put up the umbrellas as you request as well, but it's a perfect spot to start your day with some delicious breakfast, grab lunch as you come back from an excursion, or dig into dinner if you want a very casual option. It's also a great place to sit. They'll provide drink service throughout your time here. Enjoy the sail away from this incredible spot. Now, every cruise ship has a pool grill, but of course, Oceana does it better than everyone else. You can see the extensive menu here. I've had quite a few of those surf and turf, who doesn't love a filet? And of course, delicious lobster. You've got delicious styles of burgers. The Wagyu burger is my absolute favorite. And you've got a wide variety of seafood as well. All you have to do is step up, you'll order here, and they'll deliver it to your table. Now, an extension of the Waves Pool Grill, you're also gonna find the Waves Ice Cream Bar and Smoothie Bar. You can come up here anytime you'd like and get some absolutely delicious smoothies. I'll usually start my day here. They've got some wonderful juice options, and of course, ice cream and sorbet with all the toppings. They know me well, and I'll be back a few hundred times. Now, tucked away in the shade on deck 14, there's kind of a little secret area here that I love to hang out. You've got those extra padded loungers checking out the incredible ocean views, more of that beautiful Murano glass on the wall, excellent decor, and a perfect place to chill with a book. Now, to me, nothing says vacation like a nice relaxing massage and the whole spa experience. Here on board with the Aquamar Spa, you're gonna find some incredible massage therapists. They do all styles of treatments here. Of course, they have a full service salon. And there's also a really wonderful spa terrace out front. Now, I highly recommend that you stop by on boarding day. They're gonna take you on a tour through the facilities, explain what they offer. And of course, you can lock in the exact treatments that you're looking for at the exact time. Keep in mind that it does fill up a little more on sea days, You'd often find some really good port day specials if you keep your eye out for those. Once again, stop by on boarding day, tour the spa, and pick the perfect options for you. We've stepped just inside the full service salon here on board. You'll see there's quite a few retail options. You can take advantage of those duty-free prices and stock up. 
Now in here, you're gonna find several hair stations. You can get a revolutionary new hairstyle, just get done up to head out. Now keep in mind, if you're on one of those longer cruises, this is great to have. It's kind of that residential style experience. Now you've got several hair stations on the far side. You're gonna find a manicure station and then wrapped all the way around. They also have a great pedigure station as well big enough for my size 15 feet, and they even have a great massage chair here. We can take advantage of those incredible views. Now your spa journey will start with the relaxation room. This is where you can come, sit back, relax. They're gonna give you a little bit of paperwork to fill out so that your therapist can get to know you to create the perfect experience for you. Now keep in mind that you'll start and finish here. You gotta get in that Zen mindset so you can get the very most out of your spa experience. Now, you have some really nice, relaxed, large chaise loungers in here. You've got chairs wrapped all the way around the backside as well. You've got the incredible floor to ceiling views, and you can sit and enjoy some of the infused waters and teas, once again, tying the whole spa experience together. Now, I've just stepped inside the gents' sauna and steam room area. So it's the locker room facility where you can change before your treatments. They'll have an experienced shower tucked over in the corner. You'll have a nice, large sauna, and then just behind me, you'll find a steam room as well. These are all complimentary to all guests here on board. I really appreciate that you have that option. Now keep in mind, there's an identical one for the ladies on the other side. So this is a spot where it's separate, lots of space to spread out. Now we're here inside one of the two quiet rooms. You've got them on either side. You've got these really nice, comfortable stone loungers. I've had back issues for quite some time. I love that I can come here, relax, read a book, and of course, rejuvenate. Keep in mind as you head out on one of the incredible excursions, this is a great stop when you get back. Now all the way forward, you'll find the Aquamar Spa Terrace. Now if you've upgraded to concierge or above, you can access this space. You can also check with the spa for access as well. Now you have some really nice relaxing areas out here. You've got the large day beds for two. You've got the single loungers. They also have the shade structures that'll pop down. And what I like at the very middle is you're gonna have that large thesolotherapy pool. You can sit there, relax, get some incredible views up here. It's beautiful when it's a sunny day like this. It's also just a great place to escape and have a nice quiet read. Now I've stepped just inside one of the treatment rooms. You're gonna find a wide variety of options to choose from. Personally, I love the hot stone massage. But of course, after traveling quite a distance, having a bamboo massage, Swedish massage, or one of the combination treatments is really exceptional. They do all kinds of wraps, facials. They even have an acupuncturist here on board. As somebody who's dealt with pain for quite some time in my life, I really do appreciate that they have that for pain management and relaxation. Now the views even continue into the treatment rooms here. You've got some beautiful views out the side of the ship. You also have a shower just behind me if you're doing one of the wraps or several styles of treatments where you can shower off in between, head back and enjoy the rest of your massage. Now we're just headed into the gym and you're gonna find all your favorite equipment here. So you've got circuit equipment that goes all the way down, wraps around. You can do just about every style of workout. You're gonna have the free weights over here. You've got a leg machine in the corner. I do like that they have even the higher weights so people much stronger than myself can utilize them. All along the window, you're gonna find your cardio. So you have treadmills wrapped all the way down the side. I love that you can take advantage of those incredible ocean views and find some inspiration. You're also gonna have stair steppers, you have elliptical machines and several styles of bikes. Now, as we continue along, I love that they have the Vera water here. You can refill as you like, but they also have a selection of Gatorade and Powerade it's complimentary and it's a wonderful accoutrement to go along with your workout. Now you've got several styles of medicine balls here. They also have those nice foam rollers. That's great for me, especially after a long flight, I'll come up and roll it out. Now, in addition, they're also gonna have different styles of classes. So you can take advantage of the spin class in here. They'll have yoga, stretching, lots of different options. You've got the pulley machines on the far side there as well. And you can come up and utilize the space when they're not having classes in here to set up your own workout. Now, Oceana does an amazing job blending together education, enrichment, and of course, delicious food. This is the Culinary Arts Center, so you can learn how to cook while you're here on board. Personally, I love doing cooking classes around the world. I think the best way to learn about a culture is through the food, and of course, my wife always loves when I improve my cooking skills. So what you're gonna find is a place where you can once again learn. So you have several stations all the way up and down. There's several different areas here. And then at the very front, you're gonna find the large TVs. There's cameras up there as well. So you can see exactly what the chefs are demonstrating. They have different styles of culinary classes throughout your cruise. And they also hone in on the locations that they're visiting. So if you wanna dig a little bit deeper into the culture, learn a little bit better, how to cook a little bit better, make sure you stop by the Culinary Arts Center. You do need to pre-reserve that. 
Now I've stepped just inside the artist loft. This is another wonderful place where you can explore the enrichment here on board. Now they always have an artist in residence. You can learn an enormous amount from them and of course hone in on your own art skills. They'll have different styles of classes where you can learn not just about the locations that you're visiting, but also how to paint or sketch yourself. On deck 11, you'll find the executive lounge. Now this lounge is reserved for full suite guests. And what you'll find in here is a wonderful place to escape, but more importantly, it's where you'll find the executive concierge. They're here to compliment your butler and take care of all the details for you, whether it's reservations or advice, they can take care of those details. Just behind, you've got a small internet cafe. They do have a printer back there, so if you're printing your boarding passes before you head home, of course, that's a sad moment. We know you'll be back shortly, but that's the spot where you can take advantage of it. Now, you've got a table here where you can gather together with friends and play cards. You also have a couple different seating areas, a large sofa looking at the large flat panel TV. You've got chairs and tables on the side, and then you also have this small dining area. So in here, you're gonna find all your sodas that you can choose from. You've got the Vero water in there as well. Over here, you're gonna see that you have an espresso maker, so you can stop by anytime you'd like and have that espresso. They'll have light bites throughout the day. It's in the afternoon now, so they've got some cookies. They're really delicious. But in addition to that, they'll have some light bites for breakfast and throughout the day. Forward on deck nine, you'll find the concierge lounge. Now this is available to those guests who have upgraded to the concierge verandas. Now I love that this is included. Of course, you get quite a few extra amenities from the concierge and your car travel advisor will guide you through picking the perfect room for you. But if you do upgrade, you'll get access to this space. But more than that, you'll have access to the concierges themselves. They're here to help upgrade your experience, handle reservations, answer questions. And of course they can do little things like help you print your boarding pass. You've got a small internet station for that. You'll also find that they have a reference library just behind along with a large color printer. Now, as we continue along, you can see it's a beautiful space. You've got several seating areas. You've got the nice large sofas in the middle, seating on the side, chairs and tables on the side as well. And then they have a TV here where sometimes they'll put on the big game. So you can sit, relax, and of course, grab from the sodas that are always included. There's an espresso maker just behind. And then they're gonna have light bites where you can stop by for a snack. I've been known to stop by and have a cookie or two. Now, I just stepped inside one of the guest laundrettes. This is a complimentary feature here on board. You can see you have washers and dryers just behind me. There's also a small seating area and you'll have a television. Now this ship does some of those extended cruises. It's really nice to be able to do the self-service laundry. Of course, if you've upgraded a concierge or above, you're gonna have some complimentary laundry included. All the way in the aft on deck six, you're gonna find the grand dining room. Now I know I've already talked about the culinary scene here on board, but it truly is the finest cuisine at sea and it extends to this incredible space. It's a beautiful space with windows wrapped all the way around. I always ask for a table towards the aft. I love that view personally, but this is that spot where you can have delicious food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's gonna be plated and served a la carte. They'll have all of your classic favorites every single day, in addition to having some options that are rotational. So they'll have an expansive menu. They get it completely right. Now you see that you have tables for two, you have tables for four. They even have larger tables for 10 if you have a group here on board. There's a large wine closet all on the far side there because of course the sommeliers are gonna pair delicious food with incredible wines from around the world. One of the things that I personally love doing is trying that cuisine from the different destinations that we're visiting. These are finely curated menus from some of the best chefs on the planet. Now as we head forward from the grand dining room, you're gonna find this beautiful lounge space. Now it's a really relaxing spot to get away, maybe on a sea day to read a book. You're gonna find sofas and chairs here. You've got several different intimate seating areas as well, and it's connected to the grand bar just inside. Now, as we head into the grand bar, you can see this is that perfect spot to stop by for a pre-dinner drink, or as you head out of the restaurant, you can stop by here as well. Once again, some of the best bartenders on the entire planet. Now, just behind me, you'll find the Grand Bar itself. Of course, you can belly up to the bar here to have some delicious drink options. You've got seating wrapped all the way around. And as I mentioned, they're gonna provide drink service out to the entryway as well. Now, on either side of the Grand Bar, you're gonna have the casino. Let's inside and check that out. Now, the casino is not a large casino, but it does have all your favorite games if you love to gamble on vacation. You'll see in the middle, they've got all your favorite table games. You've got three card poker, blackjack, wrapped all the way around that. You've got the different styles of slot machines. They also have the multi-use games. So you can mix up, maybe play a little bit of poker or some Kino. And then on the far side, they'll have roulette and craps. Now, as we step into martinis, you'll see another wonderful lounge space here on board. 
You've got a baby grand piano right in the middle. They'll be tickling the ivories, playing some of your favorite tunes as you grab a drink. Now, of course, they do have absolutely delicious martinis. They've got a full bar experience here with amazing bartenders. Now you've got lounge seating that wraps all the way around, more of that beautiful arc that you'll see all throughout the ship. You've got intimate areas with tables for two, larger areas to gather with your friends. And I often find this to be a great meeting spot to gather before you head on out and enjoy the ship or the incredible destinations it visits. Next up is the Oceana Club Ambassador and the Future Cruise Sales Office. So those of you who've cruised with Oceana in the past, you'll get an Oceana Club number that'll extend discounts for you and priorities. Now, as a hard travel is one of their Connoisseur Club travel agencies, you're also gonna get some unique benefits with booking with hard travel, in addition to all the incredible insight and advice our advisors can provide. Now, they know that you're gonna have an amazing time on board and that you're gonna book your next cruise while you're here. Make sure that you do stop by. You can get some special discounts that are only offered here on board, whether it's one voyage or you put several together for an incredible grand voyage. All the way forward down on deck five, you'll find the Riviera Lounge. Now, this is the main show lounge here on board. They do put on wonderful production style shows. In addition to that, they'll also bring on guest lectures so you can learn about the destinations and also some pretty incredible guest entertainers. Whether it's a band, a singer, or of course a comedian, magician, whatever bit of entertainment that they bring on board, it's always high quality and it's a wonderful thing to do, whether a day at sea or later in the evening after a port day. Now you can combine the wonderful entertainment with a delicious meal. And once again, they do an incredible job with enrichment. I really love that you can dig deep into the destinations you're visiting and even try some amazing food from those destinations as well after you enjoy. Now behind me, you'll find the grand staircase and it's more than just function, it's absolutely beautiful design. It's crafted with Lalique crystal. It took 37 glass masters to design this incredible space. And you even have the beautiful crystal here at the base as well. The Angelique vase, and then down below the cactus table. This is just some of the artwork here on board. The Oceana Riviera has one of the most extensive and expensive art collections on the oceans. And what I love about it is you can learn about that as well. Make sure you stop by the front desk or the concierge desk. They'll explain how you can tour the incredible art here on board. Now, once again, you've got the beautiful staircase behind me. Up above, you've got an incredible chandelier, and then you'll have the glass elevators as well. Now, as we head further into the space, on one side, you'll find the guest services desk. This is everything to do with money. They can answer all your questions about your room. Now, I do recommend that you stop by during the cruise because the first day and the last day does get a little bit busy with people settling things up. Now, on the other side, you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. Of course, so much of an Oceana cruise, in addition to being delicious food, entertainment is about the destinations that you visit. You definitely wanna pre-book your shore excursions. Now keep in mind, if you have the O-Life promotion, your hard travel advisor can explain to you how to get the most value for your money out of that. And of course, they have a wide extensive collection of shore excursions beyond that, and also private car and driver offerings. Once again, you always want to pre-book because you don't want to be disappointed if it sells out. That said, they can answer your questions, and if you decide to change up your shore excursions throughout, they can take care of those details for you. Now, there's some lovely seating areas on either side. It's also where you'll find one of the concierge desks that can answer a lot of those questions, but it's another beautiful space here on board. Now, as we start to head aft on both sides and in the middle, you'll find some lovely boutiques that you can choose from. Now, the reason people shop on board a cruise ship is, of course, the duty-free prices. You'll find out that you can save quite a bit, and they have some exquisite offerings here on board Oceana. You'll find some wonderful clothing options. You've got your favorite Oceana logo gear. In addition to that, you have some high-end jewelry, cosmetics, perfumes, and then you'll also find some wonderful options that you can spoil your partner with. Once again, if you wanna take advantage of that duty-free shopping, make sure you stop by. Even some incredible offerings from Bellari. Pretty sure my wife would love that. This beautiful space is Jacques. It's one of the specialty restaurants on here on board, and it's a French dining experience. It's some of the best food in the entire cruise industry. In fact, it's won award after award, and you would expect that with the greatness of Chef Jacques Pepin. He's designed the menu himself. He's been on board and experienced it quite a few times as well. And I don't know about you, but the soundtrack of my childhood was Jacques Pepin and Julia Childs. My grandmother was an incredible cook. And of course, the base of so many cuisines is that French culinary training. And this restaurant absolutely delivers. 
you've got all your favorite classic French dishes. They also expand into some new modern takes on them. But one of the best things I've ever had on any cruise ship was the delicious herb crusted rotisserie chicken. There's actually a full rotisserie just behind in the kitchen. If you wanna see behind the scenes, we actually have a tour on our channel of this very kitchen. It wraps all the way around and it's incredibly interesting. Now I've dined here a few times, and once again, it's some of the best French cooking I've ever experienced. I've spent quite a bit of time in France and dining at high scale French restaurants in the United States. This is incredible. Now you see you've got that beautiful French provincial style decor. You've got tables for two, four, and larger tables as well. They do some incredible table side preparations. Once again, if you love a delicious French meal, make sure you're ready for some delicious butter and so much more, but you can't be disappointed here at Jacques. Now we just stepped inside Red Ginger, which is the best Asian cuisine at sea. Now it's a true fusion of several different styles of cuisine. You're gonna find some delicious Japanese options. I love that they have fantastic sushi and sashimi on the menu. You're also gonna find the chef's special. And beyond that, you're gonna find some delicious options from all sorts of regions of China and Thailand. So they put all of that together with even a little bit of a California twist. You're sure to come back time and time again. Once again, the beautiful red decor in here. You can see the setup just behind me is a piece of art in and of itself. You've got the chandeliers, the artwork, delicious Asian cuisine. Now I'm sure you can see by now why we love this ship so much, but the Oceana experience is way beyond just the design of this beautiful vessel. It's the incredible service, the delicious gourmet cuisine that's included throughout your entire voyage, the enrichment, and of course, the incredible places around the world where this beautiful ship visits. Now, when you wanna get the absolute most out of your Oceana experience or region or Norwegian cruise lines, make sure you reach out to the experts of hard travel. Our team knows the spaces inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with the cruise lines and we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.